I sing my first song. That's um by Dynamic Sound. It's the name um West Indies Recording word, Studio. Word. West you know? Indies Recording. That's why it used the name. I'm there West Indies Recording Studio. That's where I sing my first song. But I couldn't sing. You know, and um it's Phil Pratt, you know, Phil Pratt label. And 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 then I went to Studio One. I practiced for three years. I went to Studio One. I think it was December, no, I think it coming to January 1970. And that, that's when I sing my first two songs in, in Studio One, January 1970. I think that's where it started because when I went to Studio One, I thought I could sing and I thought I could play. You know, but going to Studio One I had to start all over, entirely over from scratch learn to sing and learn to play the instrument you know and i, I give thanks to leroy sibbles time always anything i ask him him show me and um, morgan his soul defenders that band you know morgan and privy those are the people that teach me about music learn to play music learn to know notes you know and i used to practice every day every day <coughs> i never miss a day going to studio one i'll go there every day <coughs> you know and you know it it it, it, it worked out i said studio one was we have basic elementary Straight up to college, university. That was studio one in one. Yeah. You know? And the reason why I love studio one is because that's the only studio where the Rasta man could go. Mr. Dad was the only studio that allowed the Rasta man to come and sing about Rasta and really, really embrace it and put it out. So when I went to studio when I said I could have smoked my herb and you know and see so much Rasta man come to studio one every day. It enlightened me so much as a young man, you know. For real. And I've been doing this for 40 odd years now. And I really, really love it. I love it. Yeah.